All right, so I'm going to be talking about how to get a pop-up box to appear inside of Task Scheduler. So we come down here to the search bar, type in Task Scheduler. We'll open up this application. And on the Task Scheduler library here, I'm going to create a new task. And I'll call this Test Task. And then I'll just create a, a random trigger for the time being. And over here on the actions, we'll come here and we'll click new. And we'll see that we have three different action types up here. We've got start a program. We also have send an email and display a message. Now, send an email and display a message are deprecated, which means that it used to have this functionality, but they no longer allow you to do these things inside of it. So if we choose display a message, and we want it to display some message, And we went through the steps. We click OK, and it says an error has occurred. Uh, the task uh, is a deprecated feature, so it won't allow us to display a message. So we're going to talk about how to work around this to get a pop-up box and display a message. So I'm going to close out of this without saving it. And then over here on the front page, I'm going to right-click. I'm going to choose New, and I'm going to choose a new text document. It'll create a new text document. I'll open it up. And then right here, I'm going to type MSG box, quotation mark. First thing I'm going to type is the text. So um, our main body text here, quotation mark, comma, zero, comma, our title here, quotation mark. I'm going to save that, and then out here I'm going to rename this. Uh, I can name it whatever I want, but I'm going to name it pop-up, and then I'm going to change this .txt to a .vbs file type. So let's zoom in there, .vbs. It'll say, if you change a file name extension, so we're going to click yes, it'll change it to .vbs, and then if we double-click this, we'll see that it pops up this box. And so the next thing we have to do is just to program this to run inside of um, our task scheduler. All right, so with that .vbs saved, I'm going to come down here and type in task scheduler again to open that application. Come up here to task scheduler library. And then I'm going to click on create task. I'm going to name this test task. One of the things I've noticed is uh, we can change this configure for down here and we can check run with highest privileges, uh, but we have to make sure this run only when user is logged on is selected. If we choose run whether user is logged on or not, I've noticed that it won't work. So I don't know if there's a, a way around that or not, but uh, for me, I'm going to run this only when the, the user is logged on. We're going to come over here to action. I'm going to choose new. In this action, instead of choosing display a message, I'm going to choose start a program, and then we're going to browse to the location of that .bbs file. For me, it's on my desktop, and I'm going to come down here and choose popup.bbs. I'll click OK. Then over here on the trigger, I'm going to create a time-based trigger to have it run so that we can see that it's working. I'm going to set that to run in 15 seconds. I'm going to click OK, and it should be ready to go. And so now, in five seconds, we should see a pop-up on our screen. There we go. We've got our title up here, and then our main body text right here. If we zoom in, you can see that looks. So we'll click OK, and that does what we were hoping to do.